Boogs, the man from Hotlanta. He's ranked number six. Of course, always repping Motown, Detroit. Had a rough first game, came back in the second game and fought it out, and now he's going to face Kerry Q. And I'll tell you what, Gibbs, he's got some work to do. Yeah, he's going to face all different style players. You had Kerry Q here, a run uh, first player, so he's got a lot to do with his defense to try and stop that run There's first offense. There's night train lane. Deion Sanders. They're going to be play a pivotal role in stopping the run for Boog's defense. But then you have Chad Johnson, who will play the sideline role, underneath role. Randy Moss needs to play vertical downfield. And then Matt Stafford. We saw him have a couple overthrows in the previous game. Boog's can't afford any overthrows in this one. Well, Boogs is going to have to get it done against this man right here. Kerry Q, the guy with the swag. He's from nearby Anaheim, California. Cowboys fan, though, and he's ranked number 11. Number 11, how the heck did he get there? I'll tell you, he got 27% of his Madden uh, Championship Series points through Challenger events. The Compete Forever New Jersey event placed in fifth, the Las Vegas, the Los Angeles, and then, of course, the Se uh, Seahawks Club Series. So another one of those guys like Figgy, well, a big part of why he got here is because of Challenger events. A lot of guys show respect for Kerry Q. Here's his picks. He's got Deion Sanders. That's really the only guy on defense we could talk about. It's Beast Mode is the guy that carries the load. Yeah, he didn't spend a ton of on his defense, ranked last at all 32, and you see why when they see his offense. Marshawn Lynch, Antonio Gates, big time players at the tight end spot, and then Randy Moss. Robert Griffin is crazy. That's a crazy yeah, pick Bobby for a guy. Griffin? Bob oh, Griffin? Robert Dorn. RG3, socks and all. Of course, he's a 97 overall. He's got a few players that we haven't seen yet today. Bob Griffin being one of them, Alshon Jeffries. And the guy that I think everyone should have, number 55, the real 55, Anthony Barr. I was just looking up and down the roster, and that was something I noticed as well, is Anthony Barr, this is the first time we're really seeing that guy here th this week, and we saw a ton of Barr last weekend. But Kerry, while he didn't spend a ton on his roster, he yeah. did get to Barr. You take a look at Boogs on the, on the ladder, won 82% of his games. Didn't play a ton of games because he knew he was sort of Locked in here in season three, fell back a little bit to six. But this is a guy, this is all you can ask for a win in your in opportunity. Gonna have to do it against Kerry Q, though. Yes, Kerry Q runs a single back, deuce close style offense. He wants to run the ball at will. This is one of the heaviest run players in the entire tournament. And take a look at the number of games he's played. Oh, my played. goodness. That's more than Volt. I Go mean, that's outside, my friend. 15 hundo games. And <laughs> this is a guy, why is he competing here? Well, we're talking to him and uh, mentioning what it means to him to win this tournament, get to the next round. He said he wants to open up a food truck. He wants yep. to be able to have that be the next phase of his life. He loves uh, cooking. He loves fashion. As you can see, he's swagged out. And that's what this tournament represents. Yeah, he wants to uh, play well, get the belt, and win the 100K. But it's it's really about setting himself up in that next phase of life where he wants to open that food truck and make that into a career. He comes in with the number one running offense in all the 32. And now it's time for our scouting report. Brought to you by Xbox. For Boogs, it's all about stopping the run from that single back deuce close. If he can do that, he will control this game. On the other side for Kerry Q, what is the key to him in this game? Well, Boogs' offense is all tempo based and he likes to attack the sidelines. If he can protect the short flat and the deep corners, that's a great start. One of the, a page out of the book we want to talk about, Monsta. If you remember how effectively he did that yesterday, that's what Kerry Q needs to do here against Boogs. Well, we're trying to get this game booted up, so a little bonus coverage here to start the game. We're going to show you the other game right now. And they're already in the first quarter at 4.05. And this is Franchise and Volt. Another Volt game? Better believe it. Yeah. Let's go. Cue it up. It's win and you're in. Loser. Like LL Cool J said, you're not going back to Cali. I don't think so. Yeah, you're getting on a... Plane going home. So second and seven. This is Franchise and Volt. Little bonus coverage before we get Boogs and Carry Q going. Of course, Volt rocking the Patriots uniforms. Franchise is in those New York Jets. Finally got out of those ugly uniforms. Something a little more respectable. I like the green. If you're used to the green, you're sort of like camo out there. Game green, right? Yeah. That's the, t the term the Jets use, and that's what Franchise needs to bring here against Volt. Didn't like that matchup there, so he's going to call timeout. So second and seven, ball at the 37. Everyone is one and one in the group. 
You right, win and right. you advance. Taking his time here, his franchise. Taking his sweet time here. Flipping yeah. the formation. He's got Coleman back there behind. Aaron Rodgers, and he'll hand it off to Coleman. And Coleman will make it to the 40-yard line. And why not pause? <laughs> yeah, that's the, we saw Anthony Barr there as well on, on the uh, field there for Volderex as Franchise and Volt pause their game to take a look at a little something on the field. But in this matchup here, Franchise, you saw all that emotion earlier from him. You know, this is another one of those guys that he's just really playing off all raw emotion to fuel him through this tournament. Back to third and four. They got everything ironed out, and here we go. Franchise and Volt. Big third down play, and here comes the heat. Gets it out quickly, and Coleman gets lit up by Mel Blanc, but not before he picks up the first down. I'll tell you what, Volt from that engage eight is just dialing up heaters off both edges. They are screaming there. I know he's not blitzing all eight, but great defense from Volt. Goes back to the run with Coleman, and Coleman gets knocked around at the 49-yard line, second and eight. Yeah, and Franchise is another one of those players who is, focuses solely on the run game. He's, he's adamantly had said, I win games because of my defense. He saw that in the first matchup against Books. A couple user picks in that one. So he really needs to establish the ground game to try and beat Volt. So second and eight now, right around midfield for Franchise. And cannot complete it. He's looking downfield, and now you got a big third and eight here, Gibbs. Yeah, got away with one right there. Threw that into coverage. I'm just going to tip pick. Watch double heater here, bang and bang, right off the edge, screen. Our other game just moments away to finally getting started over there. We'll keep you up to date, you're not gonna miss anything. The throw to the sideline and it is caught down at the 13. That's a chives read, I need it. Okay. That's a chise read. I need everything. <laughs> and he a chise read. eats it. it Trademark. You know, he's been calling a lot of things out in this one. <laughs> Skimbo, Mo, Dubby. Might have called you out, me I'm out. I'm just trying to stay out of the way. I don't want I don't want any fire coming this way. No. <laughs> and he hands it off right up the gut, and it is a Sunday walk everything. into the end zone. Little bread to the ducks, maybe fly a kite, touchdown. Sunday fun day starts. Early here for this one from Franchise. And that's the way you open up a drive here against Wolderex. 10 plays, 80 yards, and you waste the clock all the way down to a minute and 36 seconds as you see the inside run right there, almost untouched up the middle. You know what's cool about this game? Franchise or Volt is going to be in the final 16. Pretty cool. It's, it's a really fantastic thing for all these guys. You get here. And it's not now decided by a point differential. It's not decided by someone else. You saw Hollywood and Dubby earlier. Dubby really, you know, he got the job done in the last game, but then had to rely on Hollywood to get it done. Really, as a player, I think when it gets down to these situations, all you ask for is, can I get the job done? And, and you have an opportunity, both these games, you win, baby. Good dance. We'll be going to Boogs and Carry Q here soon. They're getting the rosters ironed out over there for the final game of the day. Johnson. Add some room. Let's go to the uh, main game here, the one that we hyped up for seven minutes and then, you know, delayed a little bit. But now we're ready to go. Here's National the kickoff. Live internet, man. Anything can happen. <laughs> Anything. You roll the punches. To be honest with you, we've played a ton of games this season. Everything technically, well, I probably shouldn't even say this. <laughs> Caster's jinx, I'm not even going to go there. Let's just sit down and do the game Step here. away <laughs> from the microphone. <laughs> Winners move on, losers. Well, can, do I call them losers? The guys that don't win the game will go home. Winners and defeated? I don't know. Give me a thesaurus at halftime, I'll figure it out. Lynch, off the edge for Kerry Q, picks up three. And Lynch had a huge game against Franchise, had over 150 yards. Established the run early for Carey. That's what he wants to do. Comes out in a complete run formation, the I form Hulk. And here you see a single back ace. This is what Carey feels confident in. By the way, I see Book's kids eating that cake. That's going to be pretty distracting for me. Third down coming up here for Carey Q. They're hoping their dad 
can get a stop here on third down. Yeah, and you already see the mobility of Robert Griffin right there. Turns a play with nothing into something. Manageable third down now. It's probably that good icing. I the ice cake. cake guy all the way. And Lynch, that's why you call him beast mode. He fights for extra yardage and picks up the first down. And this is what Kerry Q does. I warned you, he's the number one runner in the entire field. Yards per game, rushing attempts per attempt. That's what he does. He spent the second most on his offensive line in this tournament. The only one that spent more was True Boy. And you saw how True Boy played. And he, he dominated that early first game with the run. So you're going to see a lot of the same style play here from Kerry Q. Rolling out is Bobby Griffin. And he hits Antonio Gates. Whoa, and Antonio man. Gates go Superman. Superman. I mean, that was a great route progression right there. All the routes ro rolling from left to right. Then he had a backside check down. Beautiful play design. Scott Cole, Steven Gibbons here for your final game of the day. It's win and you get in in both of these matches. You love it. Everyone's one yeah, and one. And there goes down. Lynch. Go. And he runs to the 34-yard line. One of my favorite lines when, when Antonio Gates went Superman. Gary Q's like, whoa, bro, settle down. Easy, partner. <laughs> and so first and 10. And there's the heat. The heat. Let's check in with Zach on our earlier game. Scott, it's all even over here. Volterax, if he was a franchise, he would be Tesla. This kid is electric. Our rider, I guess our riders went home for the day. Yeah, Zach is yeah. starting to go freestyle. That one fell. No, he's been good to <laughs> no, Pretty good. Pretty fire over there. It's mixed tape. It's dropping this week. Pick it up. Third and five. Tender spaces. Tender spaces. Oh, beautiful. And Gates drops it. It was that. in its bread basket. Three, I love it. But not able to hold on. And that's going to bring up a fourth and five and carry Q. Is going to try to kick it through with Billy Cundiff. Cundiff was a kicker for the Cowboys one time. Free agent in this game. And he kicks it through for three. Yeah, that's a good way to start this game, though, for Kerry. He was able to establish the ground game. He had a couple of nice passes right there. He had the, the conversion there, but Gates dropped the ball in traffic. So I still like the way he moved the ball downfield, took a lot of time off that clock. That's the way he uh, wants to win this game. He's going to play stout defense, control the line of scrimmage with the run. It is chilly today in California. Unusual. You're like, man, he's got like a hoodie on. He's got like a denim jacket on. Is that why you're so hungry? That's appropriate today. All the cake? Need that cake. First and 10. Throws it to Johnson. Puts his hand on the ground and gets to the 46. And boy, you see the name Johnson, you see the Lions uniform. Be honest with you, I miss Megatron. Yeah, Megatron was a guy that used to dominate the field, but now with Madden Ultimate Team, you got guys like Chad Johnson, you got guys like Randy Moss on the field dominating. You have all those legends out in the field in this mode. The Lions would have loved to have Randy Moss back in the old NFC Central days. A good interior block shed right there from for Carey's defense. He splits right through in between the guards. Puts pressure there on Boogs. He has no read open. Every time you see this motion, Johnson go from left to right here. We usually see a corner here, drag there, right here, and then a backside slant. Really difficult to defend these routes. Watch this here. Second and ten. You got to get rid of it. That's not heat. That's in fuego. That's just gas right now from Carey Q. Dialing it up here against Boogs. Boogs usually can pick up those pressures, but right now, Carey doing a good job forcing the tempo in this one. Our final set of games today. Hollywood and Dubby has already moved on. Will it be Boogs or Carey Q? Will it be Volt or Franchise? And nice find there to Johnson at That's the 43 yard me. line. Duh. How about that defensive play call? Quarters three Duh. deep, saw three bluff. For good reason, Carey Q calls the Mo second most unique plays in this entire field of 32. 11 a game. 90 seconds to go in the first in a 3-0 game. Book throws off its back foot. Johnson. I'm a man. That's embarrassing is what that is. That was Corey White. He 
He's a 70 silver, and it showed. Both these players really feel each other out here. Only on this one. Second and four, here's a little motion. Watch a slant to that Johnson. That's the, the read he usually is on. Looking downfield. Decides to check it down to Ivory, and that'll be enough for the first down. And get your keys out, because Boogs is on a drive. Nice check down by Boogs there. He got a change of pace, man-to-man -man coverage across the board. Two high safeties from Carey, so then he had to opt down to underneath uncovered halfback. Late read, but a good run. So ball at the 31 now. Able to pick up the blitz, and that allowed him enough time to find Cook down at the nine-yard line. Boy, there was heat coming up the middle. Picks per it up. Perfect time for a seam buster right there. Cook splits the safeties. Great play design from Boogs. Yeah, they brought the linebackers in the middle of the field was wide open. First and goal from the nine. Let's see if he goes to that out route. Nope, he'll hand it off to Ivory. And he'll take it down to the four. Boogs' decision making has improved as the day has gone on. Absolutely has. He's shown that he can read the defense. You saw in the previous play, he called a, a seam bus right down the middle of the field against that cover two blitz. So he's really starting to get a good read on the way Kerry Q wants to play. And as we said, Kerry Q changes his play calls up second most in this whole tournament. Most guys will come out, call one play all game, make adjustments off it, not Kerry Q. So a second and goal from the four. Two tight ends. Stretching it out to Ivory. He'll try to get to the edge. Gets away from Dion. But can't get away from Lon. My man, Lonnie Ballantyne saved a touchdown. We've seen Lonnie Ballantyne make big plays right here, but look at Chris Ivory's second effort. Breaks that one tackle on Dion. And then another on Lonnie Ballantyne, and finally gets dragged down from behind. We got to give the credit to actually Eubanks. <laughs> Eubanks made the tackle there. I think he got away from Ballantyne too. Brandon Eubanks, stud. Guys like Dubby love him. Third goal from the one. He'll toss it outside. Oh, yeah. And it's a cop salad. That's. I mean, that's too easy. Always good. Always <laughs> good. That's what that means right there. Quick toss off the edge. Beautiful drive right there from Boogs. Did it through the air, gets into the red zone, into and the ground. Kick this up and through. <sighs> Take a look at it again here, Gibbs. Double blockers off the edge, <laughs> just absolute pancake city. Felt in the fullback, paving the way, and Ivory can just walk it in the end zone. That was Malcolm Johnson with a big block to the fullback. You got to give credit to him. And so let's take a game break with Zach. Scott, after a franchise field goal, Volt hit him with the swerve. Three plays, 30 seconds, 14-10, just before the half. I am the swerve bot. I'll tell you what, everyone in this tournament is hoping that franchise wins that game. No one in a single elimination <laughs> no. game wants to have to play Volder X. No. Franchise just quadrupled its fans. <laughs> yeah. Everyone that's in. Got 14 guys have already punched their ticket. We'll talk a little bit about that in our post-game show. Second and 10. They go to Moss. They knock him out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Nice C route there by Kerry Q. Yeah, and I like the compressed look that he shows you with the deuce close where everyone is in tight near the line of scrimmage. You can see right here, look at all the tight defenders. But then he audibles out. He, he formation shifts, you could call it, to a spread set. And they go to Lynch. There's got to be something about him picking Robert Griffin. Loves the Cowboys. Griffin went to Baylor down the road. There's got to be something there. That's such an odd choice. But it's worked out for him thus far. Yeah, playing under center, the distribution of his run and pass. When he does pass, he needs that mobility of that Bob Griffin, Robert Griffin, to escape from some of the blitzes that will come after him. So that's where you go with a guy like Rob Griffin. He gives you all that speed and mobility. More than guys like the McNairs and the McNabs we've seen, uh, Griffin is the top tier speed style quarterback in the game. And he does run a lot of play action and tries to get to the edge. So it's worked out for him. Everyone covered up. Tries to playmaker Lynch. Wow, Lynch hangs on to that one. You, you typically don't see him hang on no. that, but gets into another manageable third and short. That's where bench can be a problem. Now that's why you get yourself a Bobby Griffin. Beautiful. And he slides down at the 29, something he could never do in IRL. 
beautiful stick work right there with Griffin. A lot of times you'll see players at home try and do that, but they'll run it offensive lineman. Great execution there from Carey. Hand off this time, Darius Jackson. You know, they had to bring Bryce Harper over from the Nationals to try to teach RG3 how to slide. Didn't they really? Yeah. That's a the stat of the day right there. Tidbit of the day goes to you. Second and 11 with 2.30 to go. I'm just trying to tell a story. Maybe we'll see a touchdown. <laughs> Deep throw. There it is. And they go to Randy Moss. Awkward. That's what I do. Ball at the 11-yard line. It's like Novocaine. Just give it time. It works every time. <laughs> Here it is one more time. Post on the inside gets the man-to-man -man coverage against Night Train Lane. Moss wins that battle, gets inside positioning, and he's in business at the 11. Coming up on the two-minute warning, first and 10. Stretch it out with beast mode, one-on-one -on -one time, and he says, get off of me, but cannot break the plane. They'll mark it at the one-yard line. Yeah, and you can see this run. He peels it off to the side, looks like he's going to go out, but then he Runs back up and just an absolute <laughs> stiff to the face right there. Big time run by Marshawn Lynch. That was Brian Dawkins, the Ooh. X Factor. Just got stiff armed. Miser on Miser. Won't go any further than that. Clock ticks away here in the closing minutes of the first half. Second and goal. Well, he'll do it again. This time Lynch will lunge in there. And Kerry Q has punched it in, and he's about to take a three-point lead. Both these players putting together back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives in their own fashion. You can see here, punch it in, get Lynch at fullback. One effort, two efforts, two broken tackles in for six. Kerry does it on the ground, Books does it in the air. Both these players executing their game plan exactly how they want it. It's going to come down. Who makes that big play? Who gets the interception? Who gets the fumble? That's where this one's headed to. 11 plays, 79 yards for Kerry Q. So hard to do that, you know? But like, it's the patience that's hard there, right? To constantly just dink and dunk and take what your opponent gives you. And that's where you tip your ball cap for both these guys. So Bunch to the right. Little motion. He'll let it fly, and Moss quickly gets down. Let's pause, get away from this. Zach with a game break live after a deep Volterax pass. Just a straight up beat his man over the top. Almost broke it. Now he's got eight seconds left in the second quarter. Goes down the sideline, catches it, tackle battle, falls forward for the touchdown. Donovan McNabb, celebration station. He's up 21-10 going into the half. What a big score. That was four seconds left in the half. A nice live looking there from Zach, who's been there all day for us. Crushing it over on the jokes, crushing it over on the reviews. Doing a good job today there. Right, crushing some velvets later on. Yeah. First and 10 from the 47. Throws it downfield, Moss is wide open, and he will walk in for six. Lonnie Ballantyne, where were you? Yeah, deep corner right there. Place called Curl Flat Corner, one of the deepest corner patterns in the game. Very difficult for cover two to defend against it. Get a favorable matchup against Moss on Ballantyne. You can see here the route bang down that right sideline. And Ballantyne, while yes, he's a very good budget player, <laughs> he's not hanging with Moss. And the tough thing there was there's two receivers in the area, one on a nine route, one going to the corner. And Randy Moss able to break free, and we got a four-point game here with 45 seconds left in the half. This is a big 45 ticks for Kerry Q. Here's the mobility with Griffin out of the pocket. Throws it away. Great defensive play by Boogs. If you remember earlier on in the first half, we had a very similar rollout play where Kerry was able to roll out, dump the ball off to a curl for a first down. This time, Boogs matched up the curl with a man-to-man -man defender, locked him down. Beautiful. Still has three timeouts for both of these competitors. RG3, playmakers up the field, and lucky he didn't <laughs> cough that up. Yeah. Got a little greedy there as he's rolling out the pocket, but you know, this is a spot you, you got to move the ball downfield a little quicker. You can't afford to not get points here, win and get in game. Both these guys one and one. The whole group is one and one. All you got to do is win to punch your ticket 
fourth and inches, and Boogs is going to call a timeout. Yeah, and Kerry not using his timeouts here. 26 seconds to go. This is this is a very big moment in this game now, fourth and inches, because if he turns the ball over here, Boogs is already in field goal range. So you're already going to spot him three points would make it a full touchdown game. So this is a big moment here. And the way this thing worked out was Franchise beat Boogs, Volt beat Kerry Q, Boogs beat Volt, Kerry Q beat Franchise. And that's what's got us where we're at. Lynch will pick up the first down and more, and Brian Dawkins lets him know he's still out there. Yeah, this time Brian Dawkins doesn't get a <laughs> stiff arm in the face, and he wallops Marshawn Lynch now. 21 seconds, one timeout. Got to start attacking the sidelines. And Robert Griffin will take off. Got to be careful with the quarterback. And he'll get to the 47, and Kerry Q will use his final timeout of the half with 15 seconds to go at the 47. Yeah, and Kerry Q, his kicker, Billy Cundiff here. So when we're at the 47, the back side of the 47 here, we need to get in about 20 plus yards, about 20 yards to really get into good field goal range at this point for Kerry. So he's going to need to do some work, get to the sideline, quickly get the field good on the field. Play action. Griffin, he spied this time. And the spy comes in and crushes him, the throw. And he'll fall into the end zone with seven seconds to go in the half. And here we go. We've got time for, you know, with seven seconds, I'll give you one corner pattern to the sideline here to try and pick up some extra yards. That won't get you into field goal range, but it'll just make it a little bit easier to chuck the ball in the back of the end zone for your last play. So third and one. Seven seconds to go in the half. And he's 53 yards from pay dirt. Griffin. Good pocket presence. Tried it, yeah. Nothing there, two seconds now, and it's fourth and one. And he'll probably take another shot at the end zone. I like that play call, though. You can see he was trying to get to that sideline. He had two seconds. If he caught that, good chance. Maybe he could have had a few. That was a deep corner. Last play of the half, trailing by four. Griffin, and he throws oh. a pick. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, bye. Wow. Almost a trap. That was Sean Taylor. Out of uh, position right outside linebacker who almost picked that off. And he's the kind of guy that could have gone to the house. Four-point game here. Both these guys one and one. Whoever wins is in. Almost a tragic mistake there at the end of the half for Kerry. That could have been detrimental to his success moving on. This is a winning getting game. That's not how you're going to handle it. We have <laughs> cake. Makeup Bay has brought us more cake. This one is for you. This one's for me. All right. Listen. I keep doing a show. You just icing keep bringing only. me cakes. I just go icing only. I don't even mess with the cake. You're going to have some now? Who's cake? cake? Whose birthday is it next week? It's Book's cake. Okay. Thank someone's you. birthday Thank better you. be next week. Thank you, Book's fame. Let's go to Dave so I can eat this cake. <laughs> this is really good. Gibbs stick work is even worse with cake than it is in Madden. <laughs> I can't believe he texted the makeup sweetheart. To steal a small child's cake, yeah. bring it, and then eat it in front of her face while she's trying to watch her dad get a victory on yeah. TV? It's, like, it's cruel and unusual, but nothing less than I would expect from S. Gribbs. I would not expect <laughs> anything less. It's pretty much par for the course here, I would say. And, uh, Scott, the icing only is a power move. He Absolutely. earned his cake. Scott earned his cake. He did. He yes. did. Well, Gibbs. I want to remind everybody that we are still in a win-and-get-in situation. Rico, we just saw a pretty solid first half right there. What, what stuck out to you? Absolutely. Boogs was able to get up and get up quickly. That score resembled the old Boogs. He's building on that momentum. He's getting there. He's sensing it. Mm. The family's here. He saw everything. It's now time to go. Yeah, it's all coming together for Bugs. Uh, what about in the other games, Zach? You've had your eye on this Volterax franchise battle, which has been back and forth, and Volterax is showing off a skill set beyond the swerve. Absolutely, and Franchise is hanging tough in this one. He took the lead early to go up 7-0, Franch uh, uh, who else, with the swerve <laughs> on the right side of the field, and he hits him with it on the right side of the field one more time. Franchise, the night before, gave me the big game, told me he knew how to stop the swerve. Uh, does not appear <laughs> that way. Right before the half, though, Volt, crucial touchdown. Then he gets ball after the half, and he swerves deep downfield left, but Franchise gets a wide open touchdown. It's 28-17, and as you can tell by Franchise yelling, he just got a first down maybe. He just maybe 
you know, hand who off knows? for three, maybe. Yeah, yeah hand I mean, off for three, really right could side. Be anything. Yeah, or he, or nice. he got a turnover, and now he's at least got the ball, but he is still down 11 points. Yeah, as well. We are going to get back to the second half of these games just in a second. Want to remind you guys, all these games are being played for next weekend. It is the final 16 of the Madden Championship. Three-day coverage starts on Friday, not Saturday. Friday, May 12th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Before we get back to our casters, we have Drea on the field with Kerry. Definitely, Dave. Carey, this is a win and get in. A lot is on the line. How do you think you've handled the pressure so far? I've been playing well on O. I just got to get stops. He's playing well. Back and forth, he stopped me to a field goal, and that's the difference. Overall, what's that crunch time mentality that's going to get you in and get you to next week? Let's hear it. I'm used to it. I just got to execute and get a couple stops, probably two stops. Yeah, you're winning. and you're in. Yeah. Simple as that. It's come down to this. This is what we look forward to. Let's send it to Scott and Gibbs to close this thing out. What? Oh, thanks. Uh, let's get to the halftime here. Well, halftime's over. Okay, <laughs> let's get to the second half here. And we got a good one. You win and you're in. This is the, what you play for. This is why I lift all those virtual weights. An opportunity here to play one last half of John Madden football to book your ticket to the final 16. Not only that, but if you win this game, you're $5,000 richer. So let's not forget that you can pad your bank account with more cash. Yeah, you know, I was talking to Bugs when we had the player interviews a couple days ago. He basically said if he didn't win the whole thing, it'd be a failure. It is. I mean, he's gone full-time playing Madden. Yep. He's been able to have that opportunity this year with all the cash being given away and all the opportunities. So if he doesn't win this, yeah, nothing short of a championship title, it would be failure for him. Yep. Well, here we go. Second half. Well, I'm going to change things up on you, though. I'm, I'm going to. No, I am. I'm going to have this cake. Yeah. Can you do the first play? Oh, I will. Here we go. And, and I'm going to do your job. Sure. Uh, two tree. Uh, we got blitzes. Two tree at ease here. Uh, heat on the edge. First and ten. Barking out the order. Drops back. Takes a sack. That's not All right, bad. we should switch back. That's not bad. That's oh, not did bad. you know Matt Stafford went to Columbus of Ohio? <laughs> no, you're He's wrong. He's actually a science major. You're wrong. He was a communications major <laughs> at the University of Georgia. Is that real? Second and 22, yeah. Can that Allen be Park confirmed? High School. He was, uh, he, you know, he was a Scott there in Highland Park High School. Second and 22. Throws it to the edge. And Moss pulls it in at the 40. And that is how you bounce back on a 22-yard strike right there. Let's be honest. Every college football player is a communications manager. Or sports management. Farrell's a communication major. Yeah, there you go. So first and 10. When you're in. And a four-point game. Books has got the ball in the lead. And Matthew Stafford slides in at the 47, picks up seven. I mean, classic Matt Stafford right there. You don't worry about his speed and mobility, but he's got a little bit in the tank right there, a little bit in his legs. He's able to scr uh, scramble out that right side of the pocket. Seven-yard rush for Matt Stafford. You got to be careful with him. Drop the ball when you run, though. Second and three. A touchdown here would be huge for Boogs on this opening drive. Harrison motions out. Stafford running for his life. And that slips through the hands of Ivory. Third and three. Yeah, Boogs looking for that isolated receiver running a deep post across the field. If he had a little more time in the pocket, he would have had that route open up down that left sideline. So third and three. Just shy of midfield. Right here, a little slant inside to Johnson. Watch for that. Boogs converts 48% of the time, and he does it here. Randy Moss takes it to the 27. Stafford 10 of 13 now. Beautiful play design right there from Boogs. The underneath slant, you'll see it right here. He keeps the user underneath. That's over the top post, wide open. Great play design. So it's 14 to 10. That's two minutes has nearly gone by here in the opening drive of the second half. It's a number six player versus number 11. Winner is in. And he throws it away. Yeah, good throw away right there. Nothing developed. He had pressure off the outside. Some block sheds from the defensive lineman there. Kerry Q playing a lot of coverage. I love the way Kerry Q plays. It goes from formation to formation, dollar to quarter, man to man, cover three. Keeps on your toes. A field goal would make it a touchdown game. Don't give away those points. He's thinking about more with Cook. 
And it's going to be a big third and short. I love this little PA post that you're seeing from Boogs. You can see 10 for 13, Buck 94 through the air, two touchdowns. Looking at another here. Third and one, world's your oyster on your play call, run or pass. You know another guy that ran that today? Dubby. Dubby. Yeah. Third and one. Johnson moves to the left, delay. Ivory can get a block down at the 11-yard line. So he can still get a first down 11 yards away from pay dirt. Good time for a halfback draw right there. You get the defenders who are dropping in zone coverage away from the line of scrimmage. You only need about one, you only need one yard there. So that's where you see the draw is a good play decision from Boogs. Two ten to go. Three minutes has nearly gone by now. I'm eating up this cake, and Boogs is eating up the clock. Just out of bounds. Just shy right there, taking a page out of Skimbo's book. You can see, get the ball up high here. And right there, you can see Johnson nope. catches the ball, but can't get his butt in ground. Yep. His hind quarters was on the out of bounds line. Ivory takes it to the seven, so it makes it third and six. I don't know if that makes the situation better. Yeah, another check down there. That's not going to get it done. He gets another opportunity to have some of his routes run a little deeper in the back of the end zone here. You can see he's contemplating, okay, run, pass, where am I going to go? He's going to have a couple options here. You're going to want to look for Johnson potentially off that right sideline again. Also, Moss back of the end zone there is a nice option as well. Drops back on third and six. The throw of the back of the end zone. And it's touchdown. As Randy Moss pulls it in, and that was huge on third and six. And he kicks it up and through. Zach, time for a game break. Scott, live look at Franchise GG going to the end zone, second and goal with 2.12 to go. He's at the seven. He's trying to fight back. He's been containing Volk, getting some turnovers, moving the ball pretty well here, but the red zone, as Scott may say, it is the dead zone. Big play coming up here before the two-minute warning. Down two scores, go short. Fumble, Ruski, Volk, scoop. Who else? Open bar, Scott. Anthony Barr talked about how big he is. Big turnover there in that other game. We got an 11-point game here. So are we seeing these destinies starting to play out here in this final group? And every time Volt gets one step closer, the rest of the Madden community, the final 16, <laughs> all just sit back in their chair and say, please don't let me have to play him first round. I'm telling you, Mark Koo, our commissioner, and Donnie Moore, their DMs are full of, hey, if I, do I have to play Volt? <laughs> if Volt gets in, do I have to play him? Can we not have to play him, please? <laughs> I tell you what, everyone in this group wouldn't have to play him. So if Boogs wins, it'd be a, a while before he'd face the swerve again. Second and 10. Quick throw. Can't get away from Bradbury. And that's going to bring up a third and five. I love the play design of those quick little outs at the tight ends with the backside post built in. You have to stay underneath to protect those outs, which then open up those deep posts in the scene. Griffin oh. threw it right by Eubanks' ear hole and picks up the first down at the 43. He's in plus territory. You know how you have the timing to complete a pass like that? It's because you played 1,500 <laughs> games of Madden to get to this point. That's how many Kerry Q has played. So if you're going to ask yourself, how good do you have to be to get here? Well, if you played 1,500 games, that's a start. Yeah, he was the most of any competitor in this 32. And he throws it away. And that's talking about a lot of guys that played a lot of games in this groups. Once again, Bob Gryffindor. Able to roll out the pocket, use some of that mobility, get a little throwaway. This is a tough part of the game where it can be really difficult for a guy like Kerry Q to come back and win this matchup because he is a run first player. Now he's going to have to be a little more pass oriented to try and get this win. So, second and 10, 20 seconds to go in the third, and there's a blitz. And that is a user sack. Just brought Sean Taylor. And that's what you heard Book said. He said, man, I thought it was on the play action, thought it was a run. He came in, and it worked out. <laughs> Sometimes better to be lucky than good, but in, in, in this case, he was both. So an 11-point game 
as the clock has expired here in the third. That's the final place down to the 35. Kerry Hughes trailing by 11 as we move to the fourth quarter. Our final game of the group stages. Here we go, fourth and two. You know, this is a spot where if you had a better kicker, you could kick this, make it a one-score game. It's going to have to go for it here. Two yards a game. Got Lynch back there. He's going to audible. Goes into a single back. Two tight ends. Well, and he decides to reset this whole thinking. Stretches it outside to Lynch, and Books comes up with a big stop. That was Bradbury. He's just an 80 gold, but he played like a 99 elite on that one. And you hear Book say GG's in the chat. Oh, whoa. Trying to call his shot. Wow. Four okay. Seven okay. Wins, though, Books. Still a long way to go in this one, but a touchdown here would make its point true. Ivory gets to the outside. That's going to be a gain of seven or eight yards. It'll be second and two. And it's the milkman time. Milk and cookies, bring them out. Because it's time to run the ball, waste the clock. You get a two possession lead with the rock in your hand. That can just score. Time to win a ball game here, Boots. Phil goal would improve his case, but it wouldn't put the nail in the coffin. Stafford, play action. Throws it out to Marvin Harrison, and Harrison gets free for a moment. Let's go to Zach with a cake break. Scott Boogs had his cake. It looks like he wants some milk to go with it. But right here, an interception from Volt. He seals this game, and Volt is going to move on. So Volt has punched his ticket. One final slot left in our 16. And it looks like it could be that man right there as Boogs uses Ivory to take it down to the nine. And there it is, that famous Boogs juice. Little kale. Little, little kale in there, yeah, some boy. ginger, some cucumbers. Oh, yeah. What are, I, I, I don't know any of the ingredients you just said. Oh, my goodness. None of them sounded like cake. Green vegetables make you feel yeah. great. And that's uh, the way Boogs plays. And we're going to take a look at the controller here for these guys. T tell me those ingredients again. I'll, I'll tell you. Listen, it, it, first, it's three pieces of kale, yeah. three long leaves of kale. Oh then you're going to get a little bit of a, ch uh, uh, a cut off of a ginger root, and then you dunk that, and it gets, it gets a nice right. little bite. Okay. Then you're going to do a half of a cucumber. All right. And dice that bad boy up, right, in little pieces. Then you're going to get three pieces of celery, dunk that bad boy in there, and then top it all off, you get a handful of ice, and then the key ingredient, a banana. Gives it great consistency. How many barbecue ribs do I put in it? None. Zero barbecue ribs. I'm out. I'm out. First and goal from the nine. We're all set and ready to go. This is a big nine yards. Hands it off to Ivory. And he's going to tear both his ACLs and get down to the five. Yeah, and if you're carry here, you've got to focus on only holding books to a field goal that will still keep it a two-possession game, make it 14. Uh, you're down 14, still have an opportunity to come back. High formation once again goes to Ivory, gets a block. And TJ Green can't keep him out of the end zone. And maybe GG's in the chat. Yeah, that's that, going to be I mean, a tough mountain to climb. That's an emphatic drive right there. A lot of work now for Kerry. He's got two timeouts. You know, there's 334 remaining. And now you're down 18. You can see the run here. Ivory breaks one tackle. That's Dion. Breaks another. Falls forward for the touchdown. Books getting a little chirpy. And GG stands for that green man. goo he's drinking. Play like you want the ship, man. Hey, but if it works, if you can score 28 points a game drinking that, well, pass it on over. That needs it. Play action here from Kerry Q. He's going to need some help. That's a good start. Finds Antonio Gates at the 47. And I'll be honest with you, this is the most I've ever heard Boogs talk. Yeah, he, he's really coming into his own here. And I think it's, you know, you lose the first game of this group stage. And that puts a lot of pressure on you. And I think that over those course of those two games, he really started to feel the pressure. And then he had to follow it up after that first loss, and he got to play Volt. That doesn't feel good. 
Right, so you're starting to see all that emotion now come out of him here after those first two games. He was frustrated in game one. Where he had to play franchise and he, in a game that there was eight interceptions. They both threw four apiece in the turnovers. But it's settled in. And right now he says he has him in a box and Lynch can't get his guys out of the way. That should have been a touchdown. Yeah, that's a real tough break right there for Kerry. He bowls through the offensive, the defensive line there, gets some pancakes, he's in business. Griffin rolls out. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Look at him get that ball out quickly there. That was starting to look like a bad play design there for Kerry. You could hear Books call out, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. He wanted him to throw it, and get a chance for an interception there. In the red zone. Stretch it out again to Lynch. And tell you what, when you're down 18 and you're still pounding the rock, it's winning win your end. Point differential means nothing. Volts punches ticket. Boogs looks like he's on his way. That is going to be absolutely crazy. As Robert Griffin. RG3 to go. He gets crazy on the field yeah. there. <laughs> Little Superman action himself right there. Second time of the day for Carey. So it's going to be a fourth and three from the eight, and that's the two-minute warning. And this game really has been about these fourth down situations five, for Kerry, right? He, he's been in a couple of yep. them, and Bogues has oh, capitalized on them. Sure. And here we are one more time. 18-point game. You need a score and two onsides. That's tough to handle. Bogues has looked good since the get-go in this one. Stretches it out again to Lynch. They'll try to turn that corner close to the first down. And they will give it to him. First and goal. He does get out of bounds and stops the clock with 1.56 to go. Great seal off that edge there. Allow Lynch to get to the sideline for the first. Loses two on that one. Clock continues to run. Clock ticking away. Valuable seconds here for Carey. He's pretty much saying, like, I can't throw it against Boogs. Yeah, I, got I have to I run, know, even I though know, I'm down 18. He's got to get in quick, though. Throws a low go. one to Jimmy Graham. And the former hoopster gets a touchdown. And that makes it a 12-point game. You, uh, yeah. You go for two here, make it 10. And yeah. then you got to go on sides. So you you got to go on sides right away. That's your quickest way to get you the ball back. You have to go for two at some point right. in this crazy journey so it's now a 10 point game you got to get this and then you try to quickly get into field goal range needs a help from the Madden gods and oh, oh wow thank god Jesus. almost had it a couple fifa kicks in there but ends up recovering it for bugs and a little bit of an exhale for the guy from atlanta yeah you can see the kick here bounces off the ground wow and got his mitts on it but we're not able to secure it ball is out though and he does recover it. So one play later, that's my man from Clemson, TJ Green. And here you go, inside run. Chris Ivory playing great in this game. Coughs it up, and Carey is in business. Play action there to Lynch, and so throws it behind him. Great job getting the fumble, but now you gotta go 59 yards, unless you Get in field goal range, you want to go quick. You got to get in the field goal range and kick it quick because you have one timeout. You got to then play, okay, I can kick off, have two timeouts, lock up, and still get a chance to get the ball back. That's one way to play it here if, if you can do it, score quick. If you're Bugs, I'm not sure why you're not just totally in coverage here. So you're saying there's a chance here for Kerry. It's coming down to the final yeah. seconds of this one. Third and ten. Waiting on that last ticket to get punched. Book said GG's in the chat. Kerry Q still fighting. Big third down. Griffin. He's blitzing no one. <laughs> yeah. He brings one. Yeah, listen, you know he's not running. So yeah, yep. play a lot of coverage here. You're, you have a two-score lead. You can play conservative here if you're Books. Coming up on a minute left, finds Chad Johnson, who can't uh, hold on. So, so here's the time situation, right? You got two timeouts, as we'll see a, a quick pass over the middle field, incomplete to, to Gates. There's a minute to go. 
if if you use both timeouts on the on the next possession and then you waste 30 seconds off the clock, there won't be 30 seconds remaining for you have a, another drive. So that's why you got to get a field goal range and kick it quick. Griffin got to let go of it, and this time it's picked off. And that is Sean Taylor celebrates with a little break I'm dancing. Like, no problem. I'm gonna go it out. And that punt. just might do it. Books is telling himself. No matter what, I'm just going to kneel it out, punt it away. Yeah, and that's all for nothing. All those scenarios can throw yep. out the window because yep. Boogs is about to book his ticket to the round of 16. And we certainly feel like this last matchup of the day was a little early action of that single elimination round. This is the type of action yeah. you are going to see <laughs> next weekend as we prepare for the final 16 of the Madden Championship. All of these months are now coming down to the final weekend. Cannot wait. Friday, Saturday, Sunday will culminate in the Madden 17 champion who will be cut a check for $100,000. Not, Not a bad, not a bad day of work. Hey, I'll take the belt too. That thing's sweet. So fourth and 14 is the situation with 22 seconds left. He will punt it away. Out of bounds. If it was Volt, I would say like, eh, yeah. well, this was not over. Out of bounds. Pun out, you see, great, great recognition there from Books. Punt out of bounds. That's one last opportunity that yep. you could get a punt return there. Quarters three deep. Back everyone up. That's how you fight. What a fight. He's talking to himself, giving himself some affirmation. You're good enough. You're smart enough. And Books, people like you. People do really like him. You're absolutely right about that. He's a fan favorite. He's also a player favorite. A lot of everybody has yes. respect for him. His heard franchise earlier, the respect he had for, yeah. for Boogs in that game as well. He stood up to yell at him, and instead he's like, <laughs> I respect you. The first time I had ever heard someone, <laughs> as you'd say, cap at their opponent by telling them they respect them. Love it. Franchise. A lot of energy. That's caught along the sideline coming up to our final play of the group stages as Randy Moss is somehow up in the stands. First and 10 at the 45. Gets a little block shed. Gonna have to throw it on the run to the end zone. And Moss can't pull it in, and this will be the final play. Do you have a... 10-point play in my back ten pocket? 10-point play in your back pocket? Go. You guys got some Madden tips. Yeah, if you snap the ball with Griffin, run all the way backwards, throw it in the end zone, and you get a touchdown, it's 10. That's worth, yeah. Style points. Folks at home, Gibbs has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> don't, yes, do. don't send anything into customer support saying, you, where was my 10 points? <laughs> 28 to 10, Reginald Brown has his family in the building, and he's going to be here just a little bit longer in L.A. And that's not a bad thing. you got to feel no. very glad that you're going to be here a little bit longer in L.A. because now you're on to the round of 16. You just made another $5,000. <laughs> Life is good. I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Your, your, your daughter had a birthday. Got she eight. wished that you would win. Happened. And, and I don't I don't know if Rico gets a pony, but I haven't figured that out yet. He, Rico does not get a pony. Let's go down to Dre on the field. Thanks so much, Scott Boogs. Congratulations. How special is it to be moving on officially to the final 16? I feel good. I feel really good. I'm excited. I can't wait to play. Mm -hmm. um, I just got a message to the, the rest of the final 16. What is that message? I'm coming to get that belt. No doubt. And your wife and your beautiful daughters were here. Your wife talked about how much she's been through with you and she's stuck behind you through the crazy Madden travel schedule. How much more exciting was it to win with them in attendance today? It's great, you know, having my wife and kids here, you know, having my family back home watching right now. They are, you know, everybody, hey, there, everybody back home in Detroit. <laughs> you know, it's, it's fun. D-Town? D-Town. Well, next week, your crew, everybody's going to be united. I talked to Skim today. He's excited. Skim, Dubby, Bugs. What's that going to be like, just being with your boys, everybody vying for that belt? It's going to be fun. Uh, but come Friday, I don't know who those guys are. <laughs> All right. Well, I know that we saw you drinking your kale smoothie. Scott seems very afraid of the smoothie. We're going to see it all next week. What do you want to tell Scott about just the healthy smoothie and that it tastes good? You know, let him know. Put him up on game so he can join the, the gravy lifestyle. I'm, I'm going to get him one. Scott, I got you. I'm going to get you a real good smoothie. <laughs> I guarantee you wouldn't notice the difference. All right. Let's send it. 
to Dave and the gang. Well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Drea, Rico. Uh, Drea, I think Scott's already joined the gravy lifestyle. <laughs> we need to bring him over to the crazy lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the gravy or the crazy life. Big and stuff. beautiful. Deal yeah. with it. Deal with it. <laughs> That's right. We all just got to handle Scott's beauty. Guys, we have punched 16 tickets. We are into the 16. There you see Boogs with the family. That's a beautiful moment right there. Yeah. Uh, for me, for Boogs, this moment, I mean, he's earned it. He's earned all of the reps that he's gotten throughout the season to be part of it. Just a great, great.